Some of the coolest and most interesting quests in all of Fallout come from the earlier entries in the series, and for that reason remain largely unknown and not talked about today. But a personal favorite of mine from these is the Ghost Farm from Fallout 2. At one point in your journey, you can stumble upon a farm referred to as the Ghost Farm from locals nearby due to apparently supernatural sightings in the area. And if you make your way to the farm, you are immediately greeted with a horrific scene. Dozens of bodies are impaled, lining the farmland with blood everywhere. But upon closer inspection, it becomes clear to the player that these bodies are nothing but scarecrows with Brahmin blood smeared on them. If you make your way to the center of the farm, you find an army of ghosts, as well as a lot of high-level guards, who if you surrender to, take you down to a secret underground city beneath the farm. It's here you learn that the people of this farm have actually lived underground now for years, and have trouble even dealing with sunlight, hence why no other nearby towns know of their presence, as the underground dwellers only come out at night to tend to the farm, and hide underground during the day. You learn that the ghosts are nothing but dressed up guards, and that the reason these underground peoples have done this is to protect their farmland from intruders who are scared of coming based on its haunted origins. Deep in their underground city, you are also able to find a room full of missing children from a nearby town called Modak, which coincidentally the leader of the underground peoples wants you to deliver a message to. The quest has a ton of different possibilities and outcomes, including telling the people of Modak about the lost children, who in turn storm the underground lair and it results in everyone dying and dooming both civilizations, as well as ways to save both towns and make everybody happy. One of the most interesting things though, is that some of the sound effects in the lair beneath the farm are eerily similar to some sound effects we hear from the Deep Ones from Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Another theory I spoke about on my Elder Scrolls iceberg. Could it be that these ghost farm people are actually in talks with the same demented and evil beings known as the Deep Ones from the Elder Scrolls? Considering I made this theory up after hearing two vaguely similar sounding sound effects from the two games made by separate studios, probably not, but don't ruin this for me. Either way, this underground city has one of the coolest twists in the entire Fallout series. 